By now, you probably know that WebStarts is a drag and drop website builder. In this short video, I'm going to be sharing with you what exactly it means to be drag and drop, how that works compared to other ways of creating a website, what are some of the idiosyncrasies that you're likely to run into, and then how to solve those issues if they do come about. Drag and drop simply means that I can drag and drop design elements from my sidebar to where I'd like them to appear on my page. I click add and then I find a text box that I'd like to display on my page. I simply drag it into place. Drag and drop gives you a true what you see is what you get design interface. That allows you to create a website visually without knowing any code or the strict limitations of other website builders that primarily focus on editing a static template. The end result is a truly unique and customized website that conveys the value of your products, services, and information. Now that you know the benefits of drag and drop, let's talk about some of the things that you should be aware of so that you can create the best possible website. Notice the vertical dotted lines running down the left and right side of each page. Keeping your content in between these guidelines ensures that your website will look great even on a small screen. Note that you're not limited to keeping your design elements within these guidelines. It's only you running the risk of requiring your site visitors to scroll horizontally if they're on an older computer or a smaller screen. One thing that makes a website look good is having design elements aligned with one another. The page editor includes a few features that make it easy to do this. I'm going to add some other design elements to the page so I can show you these features. I'm going to add an image by clicking Add, selecting Image, and then clicking on an image I'd like to add to my page and clicking Insert File. The image is a little bit large, so I'm going to use the attached handles to shrink it down. I'm also going to come over here and add a divider. It's just a regular straight line divider. I'm going to drag that over here. And I'm going to add a social bar, which I can find under the social dropdown, just like right here. The first alignment feature I want to share with you are the guidelines. Notice when I select an element and I drag it and I align it with other elements on the page, this bright pink line appears and then a dotted line appears around the other elements that are aligned with the element that I have selected. These guidelines work when I drag an element and I want to align it horizontally as well. So here you can see that I'm dragging it and it's indicating that it's aligned with the bottom of this profile picture right here. Even with the guidelines, there are still times where you may like to move a design element a single pixel at a time. If that's the case, click to select the design element and then just use the arrow keys to tap in any direction and it will move that element a single pixel. You can also hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys to move an element 10 pixels at a time. When dragging a design element, you'll notice there are some coordinates in the top right. You can use these coordinates to align elements perfectly away from each other. For instance, if I want this element to be 30 pixels, which is the Y coordinate, away from the bottom of the header, which is this dotted line, I can simply drag it to that location. And if I want it to be 350 pixels away from the guideline on the left, I can drag it slightly to the left until the X coordinate reflects 350 pixels. Placing an element by pixel location is a little daunting. So for the most part, you'll probably use the attached alignment tool. If you click on the alignment icon and click align left, for instance, the design element will align with the left guideline. If you select align center, it will find the center of the page well, if you align right, it will find the right guideline. You can also align elements by top, middle, and bottom. Elements can also be grouped, and in that scenario, you can use the alignment tool to align an element within another element. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to my sidebar, click on Shapes, select Box, Drag this box where I'd like it to appear. I'm going to resize it using the handles. I'm going to click to select my text box. 
drag my text box inside my box. You can see there that there's a message indicating that I've attached it to the box. I can then select the alignment tool, select to align left. I can center it on my box or I can align it to the middle, so on and so forth. Now that we've covered aligning elements with each other, let's talk about layers. Each element is on its own layer in the page editor and you can move an element forward, backward, or all the way to the back and all the way to the front by clicking the arrange layer icon attached to a selected element and then selecting the appropriate option. It's important to note that if you drag one element in front of another, for example, I'm dragging this profile pic in front of the social bar, the element will no longer be visible simply because it's behind this other element. If you ever lose track of your elements and you want to be able to find them on the page, click edit, select all, and then all of the elements on the page will be highlighted with the selection box. There comes time where you need to create space on a page, and there are a few ways you can do this by using smart handles. Smart handles are attached to each selected element at the top and bottom. Here you can see there are these small icons with the upward and downward arrows. The top smart handle allows you to push everything below the element down the page and drag it back up if you'd like to return it to its place, while the bottom smart handle allows you to expand the size of the element and contract it while pushing everything up and down the page. One way to create some space is to take a divider and expand it to be the width of your page and use a smart handle to push it down the page. Creating space at the bottom of a page is easy. Just click the plus icon. If you've added too much space to the bottom of your page, click to select the horizontal dotted guideline at the top of the footer and begin to drag it up the page. In review, Web Starts is a drag and drop editor that lets you visually create web pages without knowing any code. Absolute positioning allows any design element to be placed wherever you would like it to be displayed on the page in order to create a truly unique custom website. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog.